right, Mike. This is our cockpit. We're going to find out exactly how long she is. One of the things that we wanted to do was get an extra big cockpit. We're going to have approximately 15 feet of cockpit space. And down here is one of the two custom-made gas tanks or fuel tanks I should say. This is taking 700 gallons of diesel fuel. I have two of these fuel tanks right in like that. Down here, down here as you can see is our water maker system. In reverse osmosis that will make about uh, 40 gallons of water an hour. And then we step inside the boat. This is the salon. This whole side of the boat here the refrigerator, galley, sink, where George is standing. It'll be the helm chair, it'll be three windows, one across the top. Down here is our nine and a half kilowatt uh, Kabuto generator done by Phaser. And this is our ACERT C15, better known as the old 3406E Caterpillar, 865 horsepower. And this is That's a bad boy right there. <laughs> And this is going to uh, this is going to push us along at about a 22 knot cruise, and 28 to 30 knots on the top end, according to how we're loaded up. And downstairs, the guys are putting in the V berth hallways, and the, we're going to have two bunks down there on the left, a full walk-in head, and another two bunks down on the right. On the starboard side of the boat over here is going to be seating, and this boat will be able to seat eight people looking forward while cruising. We'll have two. 1600 BTU air, air conditioning units in here, so it'd be nice and cozy. And as you can see, George down here at Independence Marine is getting things done on the 46 West Mac. This is going to be custom fishing, custom fishing machine built exactly the way I want it. 